What's up, guys? Have you ever bought something and said, what was I thinking? All right, guys, so this is going to be a hashtag bat, and this is out to Bricks R. So the question is, what is the worst thing you've ever bought pertaining to Lego? What's the one thing you've ever bought that you just realized you spent way too much money, or you got it, and it wasn't what you thought it was, or, you know, and I'm not talking about you bought something and it was an incomplete set, um, and you thought it was complete. I'm talking about when you got it home, you realized, or you got it in the mail, how could I have spent this much money on it? This is the worst Lego deal I've ever got. Um, or just the worst purchase. You know, maybe you bought something, got it, and it wasn't what you thought it was. For instance, I bought a set. Oh, I can't remember. It's a 9-volt train set. Um, I think it's 4595, something like that. And it's, uh, it's a 9-volt train, and it has a... It's an old-style cargo train. It has a couple, like, looks like cement mixer hopper car like two cement mixers on a cargo car um i didn't really get a bad deal um i think it was worth what i paid for it but the main reason i bought it was because i didn't have that train and i really didn't want that train but when i saw it you know i figured why not so when i got it home and but in the pictures there was pictures of the lego train set shed which is one of my favorite sets um I'll put a picture of that. So what I thought I was buying was I thought I was getting this unbelievable deal where I was getting the, this Lego 9-volt train that was retired, of course, and I was getting this awesome train set. But when I got it, what I actually got was somebody was piecing together the Lego train shed, and all they had was the walls and a couple pieces of the roof, and the pictures made it look like it was complete, and it was nowhere near complete. It had nothing on the inside. And you could tell it wasn't an original set. It was something that somebody was piecing together. So I was kind of fooled by the pictures. Wasn't completely disappointed because the price I paid for it, um, the train, it was just the, the the engine and a couple cargo cars. And the engine was complete, but some of the cargo cars weren't. I've got them in a box somewhere. I've actually took the engine apart. I was going to use them over for something else, and I I never even finished that project. So... One of these days I might put it together and piece it back together, but just a real disappointment because what I thought I was going to get as far as that train shed was one of the main reasons I went ahead and bought it wasn't there. And in the description, it was listed as the the train, the incomplete train in the train shed. And then when I got it, the train shed was like somebody like me just got the instructions and tried to piece it together. And it looks like they didn't really go real too much further than pieces together from their own bricks because it was basically just the shell so I was a little disappointed in that and Bricksar had done a he did a video a while back he got something in the mail and he was he was disappointed with it and it got me thinking about asking him the question what's the worst deal you've ever got what's the worst item you've ever bought I've bought some things on clearance and okay so I picked up this set a while back this is a two-in-one um, buildable figures. I really don't even like these figures. This is the only ones. I think I take that back. I think I have a couple more. And the only reason I got them is because they were five dollars. But those included plus these. This was originally fifty-nine ninety-nine. I think I paid twelve dollars for it. Maybe seventeen. It was either twelve or seventeen. I can't remember. It went to half off. Half off was uh, twenty-nine ninety-eight. And then it actually went down again. It went to 70% off. So whatever the 70% off is, maybe it's seven. I think it was $17. So I picked up two. I picked up two of these actually. I got three. One was for Eightball Man. He wanted one. I sent it to him. He built it. I haven't built them. I don't plan on building them. Um, I thought about parting them out. I don't really think that these are. I mean, you guys can tell me. I haven't done any research, but I don't think they're worth parting out. Um, they're hard to resell. I've uh so they're just in my pile of stuff that I have nothing to do no reason for it's just maybe I'll part them out maybe I'll sell them I don't know so this goes up in my some of my worst buys now you guys if you collect these buildable figs 
that's not a bad buy for you, but for me it was a bad buy. So this one, I don't know, you tell me. Do you have anything like this? Something that you bought, you, you thought you were getting a great deal, you got home and you're like, you're like me, what am I going to do with this? So I have two of these, and I have a stack of sets that I'll, I'll show you. Maybe I'll do a video one day. I have a stack of sets that need to be parted out. Um, you know, when I get around to parting them out. The reason that I'm not in a hurry is because there's a couple of battle packs that I have multiple copies of. Most of them are in pairs. And, you know, when you parting out sets, you don't really want to part out pairs. I would suggest three or less. I mean, the good number is is at least four. And the reason you want to part out in fours is because of multiples of pieces. We can talk about that in another video. But anyway, so I've got that stack over there. And they're not all bad buys, but there's a lot of stuff in there that I bought just because it was on clearance and just because. So I'm asking you, Bricks are, and I'm asking all of you out there, what are some of the your worst buys? Whether it's you paid too much, um, you got it home and it wasn't what you thought it was going to be, you bought it online at an auction like I did, it got shipped to you, wasn't wasn't what you thought it would be because maybe the description was a little off and you thought one thing and it meant another thing. Uh, maybe maybe you just overpaid for it because you thought you thought you had to have it. You know, for me, the airport shuttle is a set that I really want. It, want I need to have it. I have to have it. But I've set my limit on how much I'm going to pay for that set and. It's probably never going to be under that under the limit that I'm willing to pay for it. And if I paid six or seven hundred dollars for it and got it home, I'd be like ecstatic the first couple of days because, you know, that's the number one. That's my holy grail set, the airport shuttle. But then after I had it a couple of days, I would probably start to not like it as much because of how much I had to pay for it, and I'm not willing to do that. And is there a set that you've paid way too much for? Something you got home and you said. Man, I've got this set. I finally got it. It's in my collection. I've been wanting it for so long. And then a couple of days later, like you're like, man, I can't believe how much I paid for that. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Why did I pay that much money for it? So that's my question to you guys. Let's talk about it. Leave me some comments. You know, I try to respond to all of my comments. Um, Bricksar and I are doing a back and forth. So this video is more of a bat. Uh, this is a Bricksar answer thingy where you ask the questions. He gives you the answers or he gives you his answers. So the question is, what is the one set or the one deal, or it could be multiple deals, that you got, you were all excited about, and then you realized it wasn't as good as you thought it was? So that's it. Or, you know, give me some comments. Leave me some answers. Tell me yours. This isn't just for Bricksar. This is for all you guys. What do you think? As always, thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the support. We appreciate the back and forth we're getting with this kind of going back and forth uh, with Bricks R and I. You know, I, I try to do the video. I try to let him see the video. He gives me a response. He does his own style of video. It's going pretty good. A lot of good, a lot of good comments. So let's keep this going. Thanks for all the support. Be sure to watch Bricks R's video. I will try to put links somewhere, whether it's in the description or in card. Um, Let's see if I can point. Probably going to point to the wrong side. I'm probably pointing over here and it's going to be over here. So that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe.